Reloading segment coming up here, guys. Stand by. That is a beautiful round. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back. We're going to tackle this smaller pellet. We're going, um, I'm going to cover pellet sizes from BB to, uh, to number two buck, for specifically for um, predators uh, like coyotes, foxes, bobcats, with shotgun. Here in the Midlands of South Carolina, I had to load up some special uh, BB rounds for public land for this time of year. and uh, But the cool thing about it is it's the same data that I can use because the lead payload weight that we're going by uh, is, uh, I'm going to explain a little bit more right here, guys. Stand by. And every website is a little bit different. See, this is an example of a page printed up from the Hodgson load data website I hope y'all can see that pretty decent see and it's going by lead shot weight from an ounce and three-eighths ounce and a half data ounce and five-eighths data and the ounce and five-eighths data continues on the next page a lot See a lot of 800x long shot SR4756. This is Hodgson though, so you want to just see basically Hodgson powders all the way up to an ounce and seven eighths. Then when you get over here to the Alliant website, it looks a little bit different, but it always goes by shot weight. This is ounce and five eighths recipes using blue dot let's see what some of those 39 38 and a half 38 and a half grains of blue dot that is a hot load buddy that is a hot load using CCI 209 magnum primers that same load I'm using 34 grains see this is ounce and a half Thirty-nine and a half and forty grains blue dot. I'm gonna post the web addresses in the descriptions, guys. See, we're going by lead payload weight. That's what we're going by, not pellet count or anything like that. But uh, my BB shot that I was loading was coming in at about one and a half ounces of lead weight. It's copper plated. It's old Illinois shot. Some really, really good stuff friend of mine out of uh, California sent it to me a few months ago to uh, load up some for turkey season this year. It works great. Uh, now, you can't squeeze it too tight. you got to have a choke that's rated for plated shot to shoot it, but that means modified. Uh, I wouldn't go any tighter than 685 if you're using plated shot. I just, uh, whenever you do that, you, you stand a chance of blowing your choke out or causing undue pressures. Uh, you get up um, I shoot out of a 697 Carlson and boy it wads them uh, it, it just does really really good and with the BB loads I'm getting uh, for an ounce and a half around ounce and a half payload weight with the cork base in the wad we're getting around 80 pellets it's gonna be plus or minus three or so you got around 80 BB size pellets and an ounce and a half load that we're pushing out there at 13 1400 foot per second um, then you just start moving on down to your little bit bigger sizes. T-Buck with 20 caliber. Uh, you're going to get 52 
pellets plus or minus one or two and it comes in at about 155 or just over just over 1.5 ounces of payload weight F buck 38 pellets plus or minus one or two and that was about one and a half or 1.57 or something like that uh, payload weight then we get on into the stuff that's a little more common number four buck 32 pellets stacked by fours now whenever you get into four three and two they're symmetrical you can get them to stack in your wide uh, by fours with number four buck and number three buck by threes on the number two buck and see on the number four buck we get 32 pellets stacked by fours and it comes in at 1.46 ounces of lead payload weight number three buck 28 pellets stacked by fours and that comes in at 1.44 ounces of lead weight and number two bucks stacked by threes we get 21 pellets in there and the lead payload weight is 1.4 now the buffer is going to add just a little bit of weight um, as a matter of fact I'm gonna I'll weigh up the uh, I was thinking it was around 30 grains it's 3.7 cc dipper is what is it fills these up with this a level scoop 3.7 cc dipper of, of precision spherical buffer it's what I put in these all of these loads from BB to uh, 32 caliber single alt. I'm going to weigh this up right now and I'll tell you exactly how many grains this is that we're going to add to our payload weight using this 3.7 deep dipper with the precision spherical buffer. Okay, got a level dipper here. I have got the, the digital scale teared up. I'll just dump it in my wad right here. 0 0.09 ounces or 38 grains. We're adding 38 grains plus or minus a little bit of precision spherical buffer to each load as well. That'll probably that'll bring the lead payload weight up between one of uh, one and a half to one point six ounces of lead payload weight in all of these loads that I'm talking about right here. All right, and we're still we're still focusing on lead payload weight, which is um, a big segment in the Lyman book. And online, when you go to Hodgton or Alliant, their uh, HodgtonPowders.com, Alliant, AlliantPowders.com, and they'll have a reload section that you can just click on on either page that you can just click on and go into their reload data their suggested reload data and all they are talking about in there you click on on the alliant powder you're going to click on the lead payload weight for the whole particular hole that you're using and then it's uh, on the Hodgdon site they have a long list that they'll list all the powders suggested IMR Hodgdon powders that work well in certain loads with certain lead payload weight now the way I find out about my uh, to make sure I'm a lead payload weight you can see my little scale right here a little digital scale picked up off of eBay probably for about twelve dollars with free shipping works good you can set it it's got multiple ranges you can set it on grains ounces grams um, I don't know there's several other ones in there that you can set it on if you wanted but I take what I have is an uncut multi old older multi metal wide uncut wide to make our little three inch measuring cup here I'm using an old multi-metal uncut wad that I have taken and pressed the uh, one quarter inch 20 gauge cork wad down into the base just like we're reloading them so that I have the same volume right here and I'll know exactly how much lead weight I've got in this thing whenever I get ready to load these things up. Okay guys, uh, if you don't, if you don't have a uh, an uncut TPS or multi-metal type wide you can just make one out of the uh, out of the wide that is already cut you just take your piece of electrical tape take your cut wide and just put a piece of 
electrical tape around the wad and it'll turn it into a little three inch magnum cup that will hold your lead shot so you can put it on the scale and see how much it weighs. All right, for practical purposes demo, this is F buck, 22 caliber. The T buck is 20 caliber. F buck is 22 caliber. I remember that kind of stuff like T20 or F22 Raptor, like the fighter jet. That way it helps me remember what the caliber size is. But I'm gonna pour out, I'm gonna just get me a, a handful of this F book. And then I'm gonna fill up this cup. Scoop it up. Try to keep it here where I can see. I'm just scooping up the pellets here, guys. See? It's almost full here, and I'm gonna overfill it by a few pellets like that and then we're going to set it on the scales and see that that is 1.54 ounces ounce and a half just a hair over an ounce and a half okay hey let's let's put one together right quick uh once fired Remington Nitro hole Mr. Bill Cowwash usually always has them. I'll put have a link to his email address in the description, guys. Let's punch it, decap it, resize it. CCI 209 Magnum Primer. CCI 209 Magnum Primer. You saw some of that, uh, the Blue Diet Load data was throwing 39 and a half. They suggested 39 and a half to 40 grains of Blue Dot. I'm putting 34, 34 grains in here, guys. The, the room is perfect for the wad, and uh, we're getting excellent performance and velocity out of this load. You'll see whenever we get to the uh, to the range portion of the video. 3.1 cc dipper is throwing 34 grains of blue dot. TPS series of wad. Seat it down on top of our blue dot powder here. Now, 20 gauge, one quarter inch cork. Five eighths inch, 20 gauge, one quarter inch cork. And we're gonna seat it in the bottom of that TPS wad. Now, oh, most guys are gonna that's uh, number four buck. We're getting 32 pellets in here of number four buck. Stacked by fours. All right. Okay. 32 pellets stacked in by fours. Now we're going to put in precision spherical buffer, level scoop, 3.7 cc scoop. And see it just comes right up to the pellets, to the top row of pellets. a beautiful round number four buck ready to take down some coyotes now like I said um, in the video with the bigger with the larger pellets from um, I see what did I cover from the uh, number one buck yeah number one 30 caliber 31 caliber single off 32 caliber single off that's our deer loads that's our that, that's our extended range high velocity deer loads varmint loads from T buck actually from BB, BB size all the way up to number two buck for uh, for varmints. We can use the CCI Magnum Primer, 29 grains of 800X, 
34 grains of blue dot. That's what we use. You can you can you uh, charge up to 39 grains of blue dot. But the hotter we go in here, it's not leaving uh, the correct amount of space for our three inch magnum TPS wad. So we stayed with 34 grains, or you can use 34 to 35 grains of steel. Steel powder is, um, it's so elastic that we've, um, that you can bounce between 34 and 36 grains in some loads and get a good uh, bit of increased velocity. The powder just works great. If I can find me a mess of it, I'm gonna get a bunch of it. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap the reloading segment of this series of uh, extended range buckshot for deer and predators. Uh, we're gonna go down to the range. We're gonna shoot some life size targets at 75 meters and 100 meters and show you what kind of results we get with that stuff. So uh, guys, stand by for the range video. We'll get it uploaded as soon as we can. All right, this is Wade Rush with Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. We'll be back with that one soon, guys. Bye-bye.